Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a 12 volt battery and make it a backup lighting system. Over here, I have a 10 watt 12 volt LED floodlight. Now, usually floodlights use the supply voltage. For example, in this country, the supply voltage is 230 volts. So there you can see the input to this floodlight is 230 volts. But in order to use this light as a backup light, I would need a UPS in order to feed this light. So in this video, I'm demonstrating with a 12 volt light. So this is the light that I'm using. And there you can see the positive and negative. And here is the backup battery power supply. Now there are many different backup power supplies that are available. So I'm not promoting any specific one. In fact, the way I'm going to demonstrate this can be done on pretty much any backup power supply as long as the capacity of the battery is big enough. Now on this particular one, they've got six outputs here, which each one gives you about 12 volts. So this is a power supply that has more outputs. Most of the ones that are available just have a single output. But in this case, because I'm only going to be connecting it to one LED light, it doesn't matter that there's six. So I'm just going to use one of these outputs. So if your power supply only has one output, then it's fine. You'll just connect your floodlight to that one output. Now the purpose of this is this is a backup light and I only need a light when it is dark outside. So that means I also need a day-night sensor to sense the ambient lighting so that it can turn the light on or off. So in this case, I'm going to be using something like this. All this is, is a 12 volt day-night switch. And here's the specifications, 12 volt DC, and it will open and close a circuit that is using 12 volts, and the maximum current is 4.5 amps. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to set this up. Over here, I've got the power cable for the power supply. So I'm going to plug this in so long. Right, so here is my multimeter. It is measuring DC volts. Right, so if I take the negative to the output there and the positive to this side of the output, you can see that I'm getting, call it 14 volts. Now, this is quite common on power supplies. Even though it is a 12 volt power supply, you often find that the output is anything from 12 to 13, 14 volts. Now, this enclosure requires a battery. Now, this particular enclosure can take an 18 amp hour battery. So I'm going to be using this 18 amp hour battery. Right, so I've connected the positive to the positive side of the battery and I've connected the negative to the negative side of the battery. These terminals came with the power supply. Now I can just plug this in. Right, now I just want to check that it is charging my battery. Now if you have a look at my meter, you can see there 13.9 volts. My battery is now being charged. Right, now what I want to do is connect my LED floodlight and my day-night sensor to this output. Right, now I've actually connected the LED light to one of the outputs and you can see that it is on. And if I unplug the power to the power supply, you can see that this remains on. Why? Because it is now running off this battery. If I had to unplug the battery, then obviously the LED light is going to go off because now the mains is off and the battery is unplugged. But if I plug the battery back in, then it will feed the light and it will go back into the backup mode. So right now you have a system that will allow the LED light to come on. So right now the way it is connected is this LED light is on all the time, but I don't want it on all the time. I only want it on when it is dark outside. Right now, something that's very important with a day night switch, you've got an input and an output. So in this case, this is the input and it uses this DC jack. Now, because I'm using terminals, I'm going to cut this jack and just use the positive and negative. So it's very important that you know which is the input and which is the output. This is the side that is going to the LED floodlight. This is the side that is coming from the supply. How do I know that? Because it says input there and on the side it says output. So how this works is it's basically a series switch. So that means I need to connect it to this output. Right, so what I've done now is I've connected this day-night switch. The positive to the positive, the negative to the negative. Remember that this is a 12 volt day-night switch, so it can connect to this output over here. Now the output of the day-night switch connects directly to the LED floodlight. Positive to positive, negative to negative. When it is dark, the LED light will come on. 
So basically here is the day night switch and as I cover it you can see how it is operating almost instantaneously. So that means that my LED light will only come on when it's dark and it will stay on until the morning when it is light. Whether the mains goes offline or not, this floodlight will still be working. Right, now in terms of installing this. Right, the day-night switch cannot be left in the box, otherwise it's always going to be nighttime because in the box it's dark. So what we need to do is we need to extend this and put this in a location that is suitable so that when it gets dark it activates the LED light. But when you install your day night switch never let the light or any other light shine directly on the day night switch otherwise the day night switch will not come on and if it's one that works like this where it's almost instantaneous it'll even flicker. For example look at this. So I need to install this where it can sense the ambient lighting. Now on the unit it does not say if it's IP rated. So most day night switches that work on the utility supply are IP rated and they can be put obviously in the rain. Whereas one like this does not say, although it does have a rubber boot there and there, it doesn't look like it's going to be adequately sealed here because this does vibrate a little bit. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the side of the box and the reason being is that this box is going to be under a small shelter. Right, so I'm going to extend this wire my day night switch will be under a small little shelter but quite far away from the light right while I do the wiring I've disconnected everything I've disconnected the battery and I've disconnected the mains right you might want to put your connectors in a box Right, so my connectors are now in a box and I can just cover it. Right, now I can mount this on a wall. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to stick this on the box so it's not loose like this. I'm just using some high quality double sided tape. Now since this is going to be on the wall and I want the light sensor to have as much access to the environment as possible, I'm going to put it on the top of the box. Right, so there it is now in the box. I've got the input coming in this side and the output coming out that side and now I can plug it in. Plugged in the mains and I'm just going to plug in the battery. I can actually close this now because there you can see the output is going to the day night switch. So this must be mounted on a wall. There you can see the mains coming in. The output is the wire going to the day night switch. There's my day night switch. And then I've used a much longer cable going to my floodlight. And there you can see when I cover it, I've got my floodlight going on and off. And then even when I unplug my mains, my mains is now unplugged and obviously it'll now work on the battery. Right, so here is the unit. I've mounted this onto a wooden structure. There are the two screw mounting holes and there's another one there and one over there. The mains in this case is going to be this black wire. My mains wire is running here in this crack. And what I've done is I've used a terminal block. So I've just put live to live, neutral to neutral, earth to earth which is then wired using this connector. On other models, you can actually use your mains wire directly onto the main board and you just use a screwdriver to tighten it. Because this is using this type of connector, I've had to join the mains wire from my supply to the mains wire of the power supply. Right, so the mains is plugged in and now I just need to put my battery in here. Right, now here is my battery connector, so I can now plug it into the main board there. So there's my backup battery all connected, and my load is there, and now I can close this. Right, coming out the side is my load wire going to the floodlight, well first going to the day-night switch. So it's coming into this box here, there's the day-night switch outside, and then from the output of the day-night switch it is now feeding to my light. So over here is my day-night switch, I've just mounted it on the side here. I need this day-night switch to be on the outside, otherwise if you mount the day-night switch too far inside, it activates the light too early and it's not properly dark. Right, and there you can see the light mounted at the top. 
and you can see that when I cover the day night switch there goes my light on off right so there you see the completed installation when it gets dark that flood light will come on if the mains fails it will remain on for X amount of hours until the battery discharges thanks for watching and cheers